So now we're going to talk about query sets. Query sets are basically querying the database for some sort of data. And we're going to do this first using the Python shell, and then we are going to bring it into our view. So let's actually close out the development server if you have it open, and we're going to run python manage.py shell. So this is the shell related to Django. So this is the Python shell related to Django. We can type Python codes in here and actually work with it with our Django project that includes the database. So if you just typed out Python, that is the Python shell, but it's not working with the Django project itself. So using manage.py shell will allow us to do that. So in order for us to use any model specifically from an app, we have to import it. So just like we imported it in admin, we used it here. We have to do the same thing in the shell, but the shell has to be a full path import. So we'll do from posts.models import post. So now I have imported this post model. I can do post.objects.all, and this is called a query set. So this gives me all of the objects that are in the database that are, that are of the post model. And the nice thing about this too is I can also filter things. So if I did filter and a field name, so let's say title is equal to, let's say, um, ABC, it will give me that. Or if I want it to be not case sensitive, we'll do I contains, and then it gives me both, right? So there's a lot of query set filters as well. Um, something also that's nice here is inside of the shell, you can create things for models as well using what's called the model manager. So if I did post.objects.create, I can also say title equals to new post and then content equals to new content. Hit enter, it actually creates it. And I could do this many, many times. And this is actually updating the database, which we'll see shortly. So if I did post.objects.all again, I now see all of these objects that are in here. So this is actual instances of this class, but the more importantly, they're from the database. So if I just said query set equals to post.objects.all, and then I loop through that query set for object in query set, I can actually print object.title, I could print object.content, I could print object.updated, I could print each field, so object of timestamp. And then this one field that we haven't talked about, which is the ID field or the primary key. So I can print all of these things out. Uh, do note that I am making sure my spacing is really good. So that's all Python related. So four spaces on each one of these. So I can actually print these things out. If I hit enter a couple times, it's gonna go through each one, right? So if we go to the very top, the very first one in my database has an ID of three because it's the last thing shows the data, the times, um, and then it's just titles and stuff like that. Notice it was added at a certain time and then like nine minutes later is updated. And then we keep going down and we see all these other posts that are related to uh, the times it was added and updated, right? So they're just slightly different, but they're basically the same. And then it shows the ID and all that. Um, so that's actually how you do some basic querying of the database with the shell um, so since we could do it that way, we can also do it in our view. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and I'll do python manage.py run server again. This time I'm going to go into my view uh, for post list and I'm going to import the model. So I'll do from.models import post. And here I'll just say query set equals to post.objects.all. And now in my context dictionary, I'm going to add this query set into it. Okay. So since I've added this context, let's say I'm going to call this instead of query set, I'll call it object list, right? So it is the query set. So that's the variable here. The context variable is object list. So I'll save that, go back into my index and inside of the body, I'll put object list. All right, so we've got an invalid syntax here on our view. So let's go back in our view. And of course, Python dictionaries, we definitely have to have commas after them, after each key value pair. So we'll refresh in here. And now we can actually see those posts. How convenient. If we go back into that index page, 
we can loop through these again. So for object in object list, we can do exactly what we did in the shell. And I'll explain the uh, new curly brackets in just a second. So object.title, put a break tag, and just come through here and copy essentially what we did. So object content, timestamp, updated, and ID. Refresh, and oops. So when you wanna do conditionals or for loops or loop at all, you use bracket percent for the arbitrary key, uh, keyword that you'd like here. It could be object or OBJ like that, or it could be ABC, it's completely up to you. In the actual context variable, which again was from here. And then you can loop through it just as we have. And then we use dot notation to actually get that parameter from that individual instance. So we refresh in here, and now we have all of that data. Sweet, it is now showing us this data. So we're definitely getting a lot closer to having these things um, work as actual posts. Um, of course, it can be cleaned up the way it looks, but the content is there and it's coming off of the database. And if you remember back to what we did in the shell, notice that all of these things are coming also from what we did in the shell. So they definitely are in our database as well. Cool, so um, that's some query sets and our context variables. So if you have any questions on what we did here, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.